Hello friends and welcome to the Crypto Stacker channel. My name is Dean. Please know I only make these videos for information, entertainment, and for education. Do your own research before investing, okay? Um, I can't say that enough, okay? Cryptocurrencies can be very volatile. The price can go up or down very rapidly. So don't do anything that I say, but do your own research, all right? In the last video that I made, I had several people ask me to please do a video on Uniswap and how to buy and how to sell. There was somebody in the show comments that said they were unable to sell even a thousand dollars worth of their terrarium because there wasn't enough liquidity. But I was able to show in Dex Tools that there's plenty of liquidity there. There's like 6.9 million currently locked liquidity. So it could be that there was a glitch in the marketplace at the time the person was trying to transact, but most likely what happened is their transaction was canceled because of the slippage, okay? So I'm gonna to try to explain what slippage is. I've got a little spreadsheet, and I'll be making a sell and a buy step by step, okay? So we're gonna start with the sell or buy step by step. Here is my phone, and I'm gonna do this in real time. Okay, I have multiple wallets, but the one I'm going to use today is my Coinbase wallet. I've got 850 billion terrarium in here, and I've got plenty of Ethereum to make the transaction. Okay, the first thing that causes transactions to fail is not having enough Ethereum to trade. Now that only applies to ERC20 tokens or tokens traded on the Ethereum blockchain. In this case, terrarium is an ERC20 token, so we're using Ethereum. I've got plenty of Ethereum to make the trade. So the next thing I need to do is I need to link my wallet to Uniswap. So you can go out on your browser and you can put in uniswap.org and then use the wallet connect to go through. But when, when I'm in this particular platform, um, Coinbase wallet, I can just go into the little four dots at the bottom of the page right down there. And I can just type in uniswap.org. Okay, then I'm gonna go ahead and launch the app. It's linking this wallet automatically because I'm coming into it directly from the wallet. So then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pick my terrarium. Now, if you've never bought and sold terrarium in the wallet that you're using, you would have to have if you have it in there unless somebody gifted it to you. But if it's been a long time, it may tell you that you need to give Uniswap access and it's a small fee like a dollar or two dollars, okay? So um, I'm gonna go ahead and yeah, keep Terrarium. I'm gonna select Ethereum and I'm just gonna sell what's in here. I'm gonna sell the maximum amount. Okay, so that's $1,400 worth. That's more than what this individual was talking about selling. Now, before I hit the swap, okay, this is where a lot of people fail. I'm gonna look at slippage. So I'm gonna hit the little gear above and you can see that Uniswap defaults to a half a percent slippage. Okay, what does that mean? Okay, this is my best understanding, so I'll just explain in my own words, and if you have a different understanding, no problem. Okay, slippage essentially refers to how much change in price I'm willing to accept as a buyer or seller and still have my transaction go through. So if I'm buying $1,000 worth, the price is 10 cents, I would get 10,000 coins. If the price moves such that the number of coins I would receive is more than 10,050 or less than 9,950, transaction canceled, okay? So the volatility of some of these small crypto projects is such that such a low slippage will make the transaction fail almost every time, okay? Now, why don't I just set the, tr the slippage at 100? right? A hundred percent. Well, there's reasons you don't want to do that, and I'll explain those, but essentially you want to move it up high enough that your transaction will go through, but don't overdo it because if you say, well, I'm willing to accept 50% slippage, right? So instead of 10,000 coins, as long as I get 5,000, I'll accept that. Well, in crypto space, there are these little programs they call front-running bots that actually look for buys and sells. 
And if they see a big thing going, you know, your transaction coming through with this big slippage amount, they could actually go in and sell a quantity, forcing you to sell yours at a lower price because these sales push the price down and then they just buy right back in and essentially they've taken all of your coins at a lower price. Okay, so we don't want to run away with it on the slippage. I usually try 5%, okay, and that's what I'm going to do today. But that's essentially what slippage is. It's how much change in price am I willing to accept in this transaction before I want it auto canceled. When it does auto cancel, a lot of times you're going to lose your Ethereum gas fees or like the commission you pay. So I'm just going to I'm just going to delete that. I'm going to go to 5% and I'm gonna tell it to go ahead and swap. Things are working really well. You can see there's gonna be a network fee of upwards of $10. So I'm gonna confirm that. All right, and through the magic of editing, you can see that the transaction has succeeded. It took about two and a half minutes for that transaction to go through, which was a little longer than I expected, but it did indeed go through. If I jump back over into my wallet, you can see that it thinks I have a lot more Ethereum and I still have all of my Terrarium. So if we give that a little update, the Terrarium's gone and the Ethereum is now there. So we're gonna jump back into Uniswap and buy it back, okay? So this is the buyback transaction. See, it's showing there that I exchanged all my terrarium for 0.98 ETH, which was about $1,400. All right, now I'm going to put terrarium in the bottom box and I'm gonna buy back say 1.25 ETH, which is gonna put me over a trillion, which I like, nice round numbers. And I'm gonna check that slippage. It stayed at 5%, so I should be good to go. And I'm buying it back. Yes, I'm willing to pay the network fee of seven bucks. Okay, so the transaction submitted. We can click view on Explorer. And we'll see if this one takes any less time than the sell transaction. All right, now once again through the magic of editing, you can see that the transaction has succeeded and that one actually only took about a minute to go through. So if I jump back over into my wallet, you can now see that my Ethereum is down to $700. My Terrarium is up to $1,700. So it worked selling and buying, no problem, you guys. It's just a matter of learning this process. It is a little intimidating at first to buy out in the DeFi space, but once you've done it a couple of times and you understand this concept of slippage, shouldn't be a big problem. Guys, I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. Have an amazing day. Check back with me soon. We'll watch our crypto stacks grow together.